Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Manny. Good to good to see you. Hello. Good to Go. see you too. You too. <coughs> Te sientes mejor? I feel better. Okay. Mira, y a ti no te hicieron ningún examen acerca de de lo que está Ajá. dando ahorita. Que tenía el virus. Ajá. No, no me hicieron ningún examen, solo me tuvieron en observación nada más. Ok, bueno, qué, qué bueno que te sentí mejor. Sí. Mucho, nos, ag nos agrada mucho escuchar eso, yo estaba pensando en ti. Muchas ver. gracias. Ok. Carla, how are you? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Nineveh, good evening. Hi, good evening. <laughs> Okay, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let's wait one minute, okay? And we're going to start. Um, I have a, vamos a hacer un, un repaso de was, were, and did. 
Okay, so I have some presentations and some activities, okay? Give me a second. Hi, Ninive. Oh, hi. <laughs> Está trabajando. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, vamos trabajando. No está, ¿Hola? En, en, no está trabajando desde la casa. No, pero sí nos están preguntando si, si acaso se necesitara, si voy a poder trabajar en casa. O sea, como que ahora están tomando en cuenta. Quizás la otra semana. Sí. Pero... ¿Y usted está trabajando? Sí, ahora, va, ahora va a haber cadenas, si es que a saber. Yo sí estoy trabajando. Yo estoy, estoy yendo a la oficina. ¿Y usted dónde está, perdón? Eh, yo trabajo en Intradesa. Ah, ya. Intradesa es una fábrica de prendas de vestir. Ah. Entonces estamos ahí mero complicados, somos siete mil personas. Sí. Wow. Entonces es estresante, estresante, estresante. Sí, porque así para la producción. Sí, ya se fueron los, 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 los que, las embarazadas, los uh -huh. mayores de 60 años, los enfermos Ajá. crónicos. Entonces sí. ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Sí, igual okay. eso está. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, excellent. All right, let's go. Let, we have a lot that I want to show you today. So let's see. Um, let's start with a video. I have a video for you. Okay. Let's see. Mm, let me see. Nunca han usado YouTube for lessons. Hmm? Or grammar, yeah. Yes. Use the el tema. For example, we're we're looking at was were simple past. Okay, so just put the topic that you're looking for. Okay. Uh, yes. No sé si vieron este. <laughs> Did you see this one? Okay. Vamos a ver otro. Uh, wait, wait a second. Ah, Teacher, I have, I have a question. Yes. El, es que el was and, en was y where también mm -hmm. es was para singular y where para plural. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ayer mi confusión era que si solo lo teníamos que ocupar con los verbos que terminaban en ing. Ah, no. Ese, ese es otro. Ese, no, se puede usar independientemente, pero también se usa con los verbos ING, pero ese es otro tiempo, el que se llama, el, el tiempo se llama eh, present y past continuous. Eh, te voy a explicar esto, vamos a repasar ¿Es esto. estábamos viendo ayer? No, eh, vamos a ver, was it word, vamos a ver did, y después te explico finalmente el, 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 el past continuous. ¿Ok? Para no confundirte, para ir en orden, sino porque si te enseño el past continuous y el present continuous, es un poquito más avanzado esa lección, pero te la voy a enseñar en todo. Okay. okay, very good. So let's watch this video. Um, but today we're going to talk about was and where, the past simple of the verb to be. Affirmative sentences, a structure. In first position, we have personal pronoun then, was or where, and finally, a complement. Let's see some examples. I was a good student at school. Yo fui un buen estudiante en el colegio. He was at work yesterday. Él estuvo en el trabajo ayer. You were sick last week. Tú estuviste enfermo la semana pasada. Okay, very good. Time out. Uh, right here you have uh, the affirmative sentence, right? What about if I want to make a question? What do I do to make a question? Uh, was I, was I... For example, was... number two. Was he at work yesterday? Yes, very good. Simplemente pongo el verb to be enfrente. Okay? You were sick last week. 
Were you sick last week? Pregunta. Were you mm -hmm. a good uh, for example, la número uno. I was a good student at school. Here we have to change it. If I'm speaking to another person, I have to use, were you a good student at school? Was he at work yesterday? Were you sick last week? Very good. So, aquí tenemos el affirmative, pero ahorita ustedes están aprendiendo cómo hacerlo en el eh, preguntas. So, like, como dijo Carla, se pone enfrente el verb to be. Y la primera, ¿cómo sería? They were Was I good? Yeah, no, la, la primera, eh, si tú te estás preguntando a ti misma, la puedes dejar como a está. Uh -huh. Was I a good student at school? Pero uh -huh. raramente vas a estar hablando contigo mismo. Así es. ¿Qué pasa si estás hablando con otra persona y le quieres hacer ese, eso en pregunta? Was Were you a good student? Yes, very good. Were you a good student at school? Okay. Number four, they were in Peru last week. Question? Were, were they? they in Peru last week? Yes, very good. Last year. Ellos estuvieron en Perú el año pasado. Recuerden que la traducción del verbo to be en su pasado simple es el pasado del verbo ser o estar. En este caso se entiende según el complemento. Yo fui o yo estuve. Él fue o él estuvo. Tú fuiste o tú estuviste. Ellos fueron o ellos estuvieron. Now we're going to see negative sentences. A structure. In first position, we have a personal pronoun plus wasn't or weren't or was not and were not plus a complement. Let's see some examples. I wasn't on vacation last week. Yo no estuve de vacaciones la semana pasada. She wasn't at the park last Saturday. Ella no estuvo en el parque el sábado pasado. You weren't at class yesterday. Tú no estuviste en clase ayer. They weren't happy with the score. Ellos no estuvieron felices con el resultado. Now we're going to see yes or no questions. Structure. In first position we have was or where plus a personal pronoun, plus a complement, and finally the question mark. Let's see some examples. Were you at the hospital yesterday? ¿Estuviste en el hospital ayer? Were we classmates last month? ¿Fuimos nosotros compañeros de clase el mes pasado? Was she your girlfriend? ¿Fue ella tu enamorada? Was he in Europe last year? ¿Estuvo él en Europa el año pasado? Remember, here we have some yes or no questions and the answer is going to be yes or no. For example, the first question. Were you at the hospital yesterday? Yes, I was. Or, no, I wasn't. Finally, we have WH and H questions. A structure. In first position, we have the question words. For example, what, where, when, why, who, how, etc. Then we have the pass of the verb to be, was or where. Then we have a personal pronoun, plus a complement, and finally the question mark that is very important. Let's see some examples. What was your favorite subject at the school? ¿Cuál fue tu curso favorito en el colegio? Where were they last night? ¿Dónde estuvieron ellos la noche pasada? Why was she sad last Monday? ¿Por qué estuvo ella triste el lunes pasado? How were you after the accident? ¿Cómo estuviste después del accidente? Remember, in this kind of questions, it could be anything. Ok, stop. So, aquí vieron tres, eh, cuatro lecciones. Verb to be, eh, affirmative sentences. Verb to be, negative sentences. Verb to be, questions. And WH con el verb to be. 
que es lo mismo que han visto. El video cubre, el video que vieron, el, eh, creo que fue 2.9, creo. El, ese video cubre eh, yes or no questions and WH questions with the verb to be. ¿Ok? Y el verb to be, eh, the are, is, ese lo vieron en el módulo anterior. Y algunos ya se lo pueden. Right? Ok, very good. Ok. So, what I want to do is, ah, and uh, another thing. Remember, Carla, the, no. the, the, the way that you, no me acuerdo quién me preguntó, pero la forma que pueden contestar. Do you remember? You can say, eh, hay una forma corta, yes, or no, right? For example, si la pregunta fuera, eh, were you at the movies last week? Okay. If this is the question, ah, pardon. If this is the question, eh, I can respond four ways. Hay cuatro formas de responder. I can say yes, no, or yes, I was. Okay? No, I wasn't. Okay? Uh, let me see. Another way, yes, yes, I was. Yes. Uh, yes, I was, and you can use the complement. Pueden usar ese mismo complemento. Yes, I was at the movies last week. Y simplemente repetir lo que la persona les preguntó. Ok. Eh, let me see. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. Son tres formas. Sí, correcto. No son cuatro, son tres. So, uh, that's correct, right? You can use a short, short answer. A short answer with the verb to be. Or you can use a long answer. Ok. So, es, esa es la forma como preguntamos. All right, so, the activity that we're going to do is you're going to ask questions to a partner. Van a trabajar dos, two people. And you're going to ask the question about what they did yesterday. For example, uh, let me see. Ah, ah, dejemos esa actividad para, para después de esta presentación, rapidito para aclarar la pregunta de did. Okay, so using was and were questions and then did. Voy a cubrir did aquí también para que quede claro. All right, so was and were, do you remember we use it to express feelings, conditions, states, or descriptions of people? Okay, so for example, I'm going to show you a picture You're going to use the, the question, verb to be, and you're going to give me a question. So for example, this picture here, I can say, were, were you sad yesterday? Yeah? So I'm using the verb to be. Now remember, en la diapositiva anterior decía que usamos was and were to express feelings, conditions, or states or description. Okay? All right. So, this one here, I helped you for this one. You can ask me a question. Were you sad yesterday? Or maybe, was she sad yesterday? ¿Por qué uso was? Because I am describing el sentimiento o la forma como la persona se siente. Feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions. I use was. All right, very good. Look at this picture. This person. How can you make a question? Remember, every time you use, si vas a usar el pronombre you, you say were you. Uh -huh. You want to use he or she, 
was she, was he. Se ve un poco solo, ¿eh? ¿O was. triste? <laughs> was he alone? Was he alone yesterday? Okay. Ajá, tal vez. Solo que tiene que ser en el pasado, ¿eh? No ok. Que... O podría ser, was he alone this morning? Yes, puede ser en un tiempo que ya pasó, en la mañana. Very good. Ajá. Katia. ¿Pensativo cómo se dice? ¿Cómo? ¿Pensativo? Uh, he's uh, thoughtful. Was he thoughtful? Thoughtful. Te lo voy a escribir. Let me see. The word is, the vocabulary, thoughtful. Estar como lleno de pensamiento. Thoughtful. 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 Okay. okay was so, he mm -hmm. disappointed yesterday? What, was he disappointed? Very good. Okay, very good. Good job. Another picture. Was she happy yesterday? Okay, good, good. Another, what about... Um, okay, happy. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Exciting. Excited. So how can you ask a question with exciting? Was she excited yesterday? Very good. Very good. Okay. Look at this picture. Maybe was surprised or excited. Were, excited. Oh, no. were you excited this morning? Okay. Were you excited this morning? What about surprise? Oh, okay. Were, were you, you surprised yesterday? Yes, were you surprised yesterday? Very good. What about this picture? Like me. Was she tired? Was she tired at work or this morning? Oh, were, you, were you tired yesterday? Were you tired yesterday? Very good. Okay, what about this picture? Were you was he angry? Angry yesterday? Yes. Was you or were you? Were you? Were you? Were you was hungry? He. Was he uh, angry? Yes. También puede ser was he. Was he angry yesterday? Were you angry yesterday? Mm -hmm. Correct. What about this one? He looks like Confused. <laughs> Were you thoughtful yesterday? Confused. Repeat. Confused. 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 Were you confused? Was he confused? Yes. Last night. Yes. Very good. What about this one? He's big and tall. I don't know. <laughs> was he big? <laughs> was he big? Okay, good. Like for example, it, imagine if the police come and um, they tell you, "Did you see the criminal?" Yes. Can you describe him to us? Yes. He was tall. Ah. He was tall. So, remember, regresando al description, we use was or were to express feelings, conditions, states, or descriptions. If you're describing someone, he, uh, she was beautiful. He was tall. Okay, let me see. What about these? Boring. <laughs> They, okay. were they, they were, were they boring. boring were they bored or boring mm -hmm. okay good okay so finish the sentence here were you tired emotions or feelings were you tired number two was she angry was she angry feelings well, was he confusing a uh, confused Confused. You Confundido, huh? Was he confused? Yes. Were you excited? 
Were you excited? Very good. Was he a tall person? Was he a tall person? Were they bored? Were they bored? Yes. Where for plural? Yes. Were they hungry? Were they hungry? Very good. Okay, so that's the, the lesson, right? In la sección 2.9, creo. Uh, questions with the verb to be in the simple past. Okay, so now we're going to another point. Did. Después de esto vamos a hacer una speaking activity. Did. Remember, did is the past of do. Okay? Do is present. Did is past. Y el does? What is that? Did do. Absolutely. It's do and does is present. The only thing that we use does when your subject is he, she, or it. Okay? Did is the past. Very good. So, how do I make the structure for did? Okay? I In the past, I use did first. We're talking about questions. And then you, sub, you use subject and then verb. Okay? You have to have a verb in the simple form. For example, did you go to the movies? Do you see the verb? Está en su estado simple. Okay. Did they go to the movies? Very good. Vieron una cosa que did no cambia. Aunque uso you, they, he, she, it, cualquier pronoun. It did is always going to be the same. Okay? Questions? Okay. No. No? Okay. Uh, use did with a verb. So, here is the verb. Did you drive to Guatemala? Drive is simple form. Eh, en otra palabra, el verbo no está en el pasado, ni tiene ing, ni tiene, el verbo está en su estado normal. Did she ask for help? Did the students finish the homework? Did the government send new information? Okay, so the verb does not change. All right, complete the following word uh, sentences with the word. What do we need here? Blank, the workers finished the project. Did the work. Did the workers finish the project? Did. Correct. Did she talk to you? Did she talk to you? Number three. Did the president travel to Canada? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, quiero que noten algo. Tengo un pronoun aquí, she. Y tengo aquí president, the president. So, puedo tener un pronombre o un nombre propio o una descripción de, de, de una persona. Okay, very good. Number four. Did the teacher grade the homework? Correct. Very good. Number five. Did John leave the country? Yes. Very good. Now, number six, seven, and eight is negative. Didn't you eat breakfast this morning? Correct. Mm -hmm. Didn't seven. you buy some milk in the supermarket? Yes, very good. Didn't you buy some milk in the supermarket? Very good. Number eight? Didn't you ask the teacher for permission? Didn't you ask the teacher for permission? Very good. Very good, very good. Excellent, you see, negative, okay? Examples with WH and did. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? So, aquí estoy uniendo. What, WH, did, y todo lo demás es igual. 
Where did you go for vacations? Who did you speak to? Okay. Se, re, se recuerdan las WH questions? Do you remember? Hay alguna que no se acuerdan? Questions? Se acuerdan de todas? Yes. Who's? What? When? Where? Who? <coughs> Who's, what is the difference between who and whose? Difference. Who is used when asking for identity of a person? Who called you? Okay. Uh, whose is used when asking about possession? Okay, very good. So let's go to the next one. Uh, I want you to finish with the WH question. Can you finish with the WH question? Um. Uh, what? What did you have for lunch? Yes, very good. What did uh, what you have for lunch? Have for lunch? Very where good. When, go for when did you go? Uh, where? Donde? Where did you go for vacations? Okay, when did you get here? Uh, when did you get here? Yes, very good. Number four? How? Uh, did you apply Who did you apply for that job? Mm, maybe oh, why? Oh, wow. ah. yes. puede, puede también ser how. Puede también ser how. Yeah, yeah. Eh, alguien tiene el, el televisor alto ahí. Mejor que se pongan en mute. <laughs> okay, very good. Eh, number five. Teacher, hay un caso confirmado de coronavirus. Ah, en serio. Ok. Ay, sí. Ya vamos a ver la noticia. <coughs> no se preocupen. Number five. Blank, did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did, mm, why did you do that? How did you do that? How did you do that? Mm -hmm. Nunca alguien, alguien hizo algo que lo so, sorprendió a ustedes. Hey, how did when you do did, that? Y, maybe when did you do that too? También puede ser when did you do that? Okay. Very good. So, let's say this is the, the conversation we're going to do, right? We're going to do a speaking exercise. Quiero que trabajen. At least vamos a estar aquí como 15, unos 15 minutos trabajando. So, number one, I want to ask questions. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm, I'm talking to uh, Marco, right? Es mi compañero para esta actividad, digamos. And I'm, I'm going to ask him a question with was and were. Okay? Hold on a second. I'm going to ask him questions uh, with was and were. Okay? For example, uh, I want to ask him, uh, were you sad yesterday? And me dice, no, I wasn't. Oh, I was I happy. Was. Okay. Uh, otro tipo de preguntas que vimos. Did. Did you go to work yesterday? Estas son las que yo me estoy inventando aquí, right? And another question with WH, we did. Okay. So, le voy, a, le voy a hacer unas tres o cuatro preguntas. Si puedo más preguntas, excelente. Okay? Very good. Questions? Okay. Okay, let's go to groups. And let's practice the, the questions. Questions with was, were, questions with did, and questions with WH and did. Okay? And let's talk about the past. Let's talk about the past. Okay, very good. Let's go to the group. Uh, let's see. We don't have. Oh, si solamente. 
Solo somos uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ok, eh, two groups. Todos se, se, se alarmaron por la noticia. All right, very good. A little question, Taylor. Yes, uh, the first one uh, can be Where do you go to the gym yesterday? I, I wasn't. Well, like, what is the question? Empieza con where? Where you go to the gym yesterday? No. Did you go to the gym yesterday? Did you go to the gym? Ahora, si querés decir. Eh, WH con did eh, where did you go to the gym yesterday uh -huh, ok, ahí sí so, la respuesta va a ser diferente si uso where que es el w w e r e el verb to be en pasado entonces él puede responder con un sí o no okay. pero okay. si pero si eh, voy a responder Voy a preguntar con W-H-E-R. Entonces, él me tiene que dar descripción, información. Ah, okay. Otra podría ser, uh, what do you use to prevent coronavirus? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What do you use to prevent coronavirus? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Carlos. Ajá, ok. So, three questions. Three questions each. Ok. The first for me, uh, did you wash your hands today? Perdón, eh. Did. did you wash your hands today? Parece que le puso un mute. No, no. Va otra vez. Did you wash your hands today? Uh, yes. I wash. Good. Okay, so esa es tu primera pregunta con W E R E. Yeah, well, now a question we did. For who? For you, Marco. Ah, I'm sorry. Tienes que hacerle tres preguntas a Carlos y Carlos, tú tienes que hacerle tres preguntas a él. Okay. Ah, ¿Vuelvo a hacerlas? Eh, so, solo escuché. Vaya, sí, per, perdón. Una pregunta con WH, una pregunta con el verb to be en el pasado, una con did y una con WH did. Ah, okay. Where do you go the last weekend? Um, I, I went to supermarket. Okay. Good. Okay, the second one. Did you wash your hands today? Perdón. Did you wash your hands today? Yes, I wash. Good. And what did you use to prevent the coronavirus? Ah, there you go. What did you use to prevent the coronavirus? I, uh, I wash my hands and... 
I, I use alcohol gel, no sé cómo es eso. Yeah, no, alcohol, sí, sí, alcohol gel. Alcohol gel, okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, very good. So, da, ahí están las tres preguntas de Marcos. Now, your turn, Carlos. Three questions. Okay. Eh, Shoot me. Bueno, así, ahí van mis tres preguntas. Eh, where you go at the gym in the morning? No, I'm not. I'm not. Eh, la próxima sería con did. W question. Did, did. Uh -huh. oh, okay. did. Uh, did you go to the supermarket last week? Yes, I did. Actually, I went twice. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, what? I mean, I'm WH plus did. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you? No, tiene que ser did en el pasado. So, ah, está pasado. preguntando sobre cosas del pasado. El pasado, correcto. Uh -huh. Where did you work uh, now? No, no puedes decir now porque now estás en el presente. El presente, ok. okay. Where did you work? Uh, y tenés que poner una expresión del pasado. Ok. Estamos hablando okay. del pasado. So. Ok. Where did you work? Uh, the last year. Last week. Last week, last year. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm, I'm worked uh, at CEPA, a Cautla. Okay. 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 I worked, ¿verdad? I worked. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With the pronunciation. Good, good. Ok. Excellent, excellent. So, continue practicing these questions. Let's do this for my, five, five more minutes. Practice questions. ¿Qué es lo que hicieron en el pasado? ¿Cómo se sintieron en el pasado? Everything about... Maybe yesterday. No tienen que ir muy lejos. Yesterday. Okay. Okay. And you... what? Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Okay. Uh, ah, your nephew. Uh, uh -huh. Was the nephew was your nephew was with you today? And uh, they, they did take, uh, I hope, how do you say, in in online class? They take or they took, they, ¿verdad? El pasado. So they took. Mm -hmm. Pero si dije did. Uh, sí, no, did pero. Took, did take. No, pero eh, ella te preguntó con did. Ah, ok, sorry. So, so, tú vas a hablar en el simple past. They took classes online. Ok. They took. Pero es que ahí es donde me pierdo, teacher. Si yo digo did, mm. o sea, si yo uso did, el verbo va en su forma, sí. en, su for, en su forma simple, no. Sí, pero eh, estás usando, es, ella te preguntó con did. Ok. So, mm -hmm. eh, solamente si tú vas a preguntar, vas a usar el verbo did al inicio. Uh -huh. Y yo voy a contestar con el verbo en, en pasado. Tú puedes, tú puedes contestar, por ejemplo, did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I work. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Puedes responder así o puedes decir, yes, I worked yesterday con el verbo en el pasado. Eh, con el verbo en pasado. Uh -huh. Las dos formas están correctas. Ok. Ok, ya, eh, ¿tú hiciste las preguntas para ella? Sí. Yes. Ok, let's go back. We're going to go back. Very good. Ok. Okay. Bye. 
Okay, very good. So, no sé qué le pasó a Marcos. <laughs> Solo, solo tres estamos. No, ahí está Marco. Ok. Ok, Marco, qué bueno, no te fuiste. No, no, no. Ok, very good. So, well, go out. <laughs> all right, very good. So, uh, speaking in the past is very important, right? Especially in English. English is 50% questions, 50% statements. So, Doing questions is very important, right? Uh, for example, questions que yo les puedo hacer a ustedes para conocerlos. For example, eh, Verónica, where did you go to high school? Where? Uh, Colegio Bautista. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, okay, eh, Marco. Um, eh, what what was your favorite memory in your life? Uh, when my son born. Okay, good, good. Uh, okay, uh, Carlos. Uh, did you go on vacations last year? I I did. Where did you go? Uh, I went to the to the Costa del Sol. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Carla, um, did you go to work uh, today? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. Uh, how long? Do you remember how long? How long have you been working there? Maybe 10 hours. Uh, 10 hours. Uh, how yes. many years? How many? How many years have you oh. been working there? Uh, 30 years. Wow, wow. Congratulations. All my life. Wow, congratulations. Thanks. Yes, that's a lot. Uh, for example, uh, Veronica, what yes. was your favorite movie? Movie. Uh, the name is Gataka, is a science fiction or fiction fiction? Okay. Okay. Gataka. I think I've seen it with, uh, como se llama, um, Halle Berry, actor? Yes. Yes, I think, think I saw it, I remember. Okay, very good. So, I can do these questions para conocer una persona. So, it's important, right? Okay. And I can use the verb to be in present. What is your favorite movie? What is your favorite food? Okay. What is your favorite place for vacation? Okay. What is your favorite restaurant? So I can use the verb to be. Okay. Y siempre son preguntas. What is your favorite restaurant? What is your favorite movie? Estoy usando WH and the verb to be. What is your favorite restaurant? What is your favorite restaurant? So very good. So in English, questions are very important. Okay. I have an activity. Let's see that we can do a, a grammar exercise. Pero queda claro eso with was and were. Did yes. and WH did. Yes. Okay. Let me see. I have a, I'm going to send you a, an exercise we can do. Uh, Se lo voy a pasar por eh, WhatsApp y también por eh, Zoom. Okay. Let's go to this exercise. Oh, let me see, let me see. Mm, yo creo que eh, mejor voy a compartir mi pantalla. Okay. 
So give me a second. Okay. I have an exercise here that we're going to do. Okay. What can I use here for this question? Where blank you spent last holiday? What can I use? Hmm? Did, right? Where did you spend last your last holiday? Did, right? It's correct. Yes. Okay. What about number 2? How many people were there at the Harlem party yesterday? Helen, yes. party yesterday. Very good, very good. When did she buy her new car? Yes, very good. How much blank the dress you bought last week? Cuánto costó el vestido que compró la semana pasada? How much? ¿Cuánto era? ¿Cuánto era el vestido? Hablando de, de dinero. ¿Cuánto era el vestido? How much was? How much was the dress you bought last week? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much was? Okay, sí, perdón. What about number five? Questions with... Uh... Did. Did. Did they invite you to dinner last Sunday? Yes, very good. Number six. Blank, your sister happy when she opened your present? Was yeah. your sister happy? Yes. Was your sister happy when she opened your present? Very good. Number seven. When did you, did you write here? Did you write her a letter? Very good. Number eight. Did you watch the football match? Yes. Did you watch the football match? It can be where or no. Mm, no. Porque acu acuérdense que después de did usamos un verbo. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Number nine. Were he spotting on time at the station last night? Yes. Por qué were? Plural, right? Parents. Yes. Parents. Yes, plural. Okay. Number ten. What did she think about the project? What did she think, think about the project? What, what did she think about the project? Very good. Was Kevin certain that we would come? Yes, was Kevin certain that we would come? Okay, let's check. Es que esta página bien es viejita. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good, see? So, en resumen aprendimos questions with was and were. Yes. Questions with did. And questions with WH and did. Okay. So I can use this to talk, to ask somebody about in the past. Algo bien importante. Do you remember uh, what I said about uh, acerca de cuando usamos where? Uh, cuando hay, cuando hablamos de emociones. ¿Se acuerdan? Emotion, yes, mm -hmm. feeling. Exactly. Emotion. So going back to the presentation. Y esto está, lo corté de la, del video 2.9. We use uh, the verb to be in the past, was or were, o puede ser el verb to be en el presente, is. Uh, 
to talk about feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions. For example, are you upset? Are you angry? Y si quiero decirlo en el pasado, preguntar en el pasado, were you angry? Right? Were you upset? Okay? So, let's practice. Let's say this. In the present, and then preguntar en el, en el pasado. So, affirmative sentence, puede ser, she is sad, right? Affirmativa. She is sad. Questions? Is she sad? Or was she sad? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Eh, la diferencia entre estas dos preguntas. Is she sad? Was she sad? Que una está en el presente y la otra en el pasado. Es la única Pero diferencia. Es mm -hmm. Is she sad? Present. Was she sad? Past. She is sad. Um, present. She was sad. Okay, so esta es afirmativa, afirmativa, y estas son preguntas. ¿Puedo hacer una negativa aquí? Yes. Yes. How? She. She's not she sad. wasn't. She isn't sad. Hagámoslo en el presente primero. She, she isn't, isn't sad. She isn't, isn't sad. She wasn't, wasn't. Sad. Sad. Ahí está. Y si pueden hacer eso, ya hicieron toda la estructura del idioma. Positive, negative questions. Yes. Okay. ¿Pueden hacer eso? <laughs> yeah. Ok, so, le voy a dar el chance que ustedes lo hagan. Tenemos cinco minutos, all right? So, quiero que hagan esto. Ok. Ok, primero eh, se lo voy a poner en WhatsApp. Mm, let me see. Eh, se lo voy a cortar. Se lo voy a poner en WhatsApp. Let me see. Eh, de nuevo, se me salió un poquito. Ok, so, next picture for you. Eh, no, what about this one? Ahí pueden decir happy, surprised, eh, excited. So, hagan las oraciones en el positivo, negativo y pregunta. Uh, en el presente y en el pasado. She is happy. She is happy. Is she is happy? Negative. She isn't happy. She isn't happy. Very good. So, yeah, hicieron verb to be negative y pasado. Okay. What about negative? She wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. Very good. She isn't happy. She isn't happy. Very She's good. So, yeah, you said on a positive and negative. Now, questions. Yes. Is she happy? Uh, Is she happy? Present. Very good. Past. Happy. Was she happy? Right? Past. Right. Okay. So, ya me dijeron. She is happy. She isn't happy. She was happy. She, she wasn't happy. She isn't happy. Was she happy? Was Is she happy? Ya me dieron todo. Ahí está toda la estructura del idioma. All right. What about this one? Tired. He's tired. tired. She. She, she was tired. tired. Okay. Very good. So, let's see. She's not tired. She is tired. Very good. She was tired. Past. She, she isn't tired. She isn't tired. 
She was not tired. She was not tired. Or if you want to say contraction, she, she wasn't. wasn't. Uh, is she tired? Was she tired? Very good. What about this one? Angry. He is angry. He is angry. Was he was she? angry. He was angry. Very good. He was angry. Ahora negativo? Negative? He isn't angry. He isn't, he isn't angry. angry. Very good. Negative? Was? He wasn't was. angry. He wasn't angry. He wasn't angry. And now questions? Is he angry? Is he, he angry? angry? Questions? Was, was, he, he, was angry? he angry? Was he angry? Very good. Practice that. Okay. Okay. So, Samo okay. had verb to be for um, for feelings, conditions. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. No se alarmen. Solamente tomen sí. precauciones. Eh, precauciones de salud. Las precauciones oficiales. Ya sabemos qué hacer, ¿verdad? Cuidarnos y cuidar a otros. ¿no? Ya sabemos qué Bye, hacer. teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Take care, everyone. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.